Hey guys, it's Eddie back with another review. This time with the Green Lantern Comic Con exclusive uh, Movie Masters Kilowog. Uh, let me apologize ahead of time uh, if the quality of the video isn't the best. Like I said before, I just recently moved in and I can't find the camera I usually review on. So uh, this is kind of, I'm recording on my laptop, which is sitting on my bed, so it's going to be kind of a shaky review. So apologies for that. Um, and before I go further, uh, those who are watching, if you could please comment and tell me what you think of this review spot. It's going to be more straight like that, but like I said, since I'm recording on my laptop, it's kind of crooked. But let me know what you think of this review spot. It seemed uh, good to me because of the white badge rock, and the lighting seems pretty good, but uh, I'd like you guys' feedback. Anyways, enough of me talking about that. Uh, let's get on to the figure. Many of you know Kilowog is my favorite Green Lantern, and Green Lantern is like my favorite, one of my favorite things in DC Comics, so I was ecstatic to get this figure for Christmas, especially since I don't have the Build-A-Figure version of Kilowog, and I'm really not disappointed. But before we get into this, let's look at the packaging real fast, because I do like it. Um, this came out of Mad Maddie Collector, so it's got the Maddie Collector white box, Green Lantern, Movie Masters, Kilowog on the front with the Green Lantern logo on the back. It's just, you know, licensing and whatnot. And let me open up this real fast. Inside you have a huge Movie Masters box. Um, this, this has got to be about a 12-inch uh, tall box. Movie Masters Kilowog on the bottom. Green Lantern on the top. Kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of shaped like his lantern. Mine came a little damaged, but uh, no big deal. On the back you have a picture of Kilowog. Uh, a descriptions like heights, all that crap. And a description of, oh, sorry about that, the Movie Masters line itself on the top. So very cool. Uh, set that to the side. Uh, take a look at Kilowog, the Poozer himself. Um, he's really, really nice, as you can see. Uh, this is the only Green Lantern Movie Master figure I have, because I'm just not that impressed with the line. But this is a definitely an exception. This looks, as you can see, extremely screen accurate. Um, doesn't look very cheap, like, in all honesty, I thought most of the other, uh, Movie Masters figures did. Uh, let's take a look at that head sculpt. Really nice. I really, really, really like the head sculpt on that guy. You can see his snarling face, um, looks exactly like how he did in the movie, which, the design of the Kilowog of the movie, eh, not my favorite, but you can tell it's Kilowog. And... Uh, the washes that they used in the face are what I think really makes it. You can see they added brown and black um, onto the rather tan face. Uh, he's even got the green eyes, but I don't know if you guys can make that out. But uh, really, really nice head sculpt. And the body looks really good, too. It kind of reminds me of a rhino. It's got all these bumps and crevices in it. Um... And like yeah, the body the body really, really kind of remind me reminds me of a rhinoceros, especially those feet right there with the sort of plating going in between the toes. Um, but yeah, it really speaks for itself the detail. Um, a lot of people were complaining that the lantern logo wasn't cut out, but I actually like it painted on because that's actually more screen accurate. They weren't really like three dimensional in the movie, so. Yeah, you got that light green, and then this this green is kind of turning off blackish on my camera, but it's a it's a dark, almost forest green. And then he's got one fist, which is on this hand, which has the ring on it, very nicely sculpted. And you know he's got an open hand on the other side. So yeah, really good, really, really nice uh, detail on that figure. And just to give a size comparison, here's DC Universe Classics Hal um, from the 5-pack, which is the same size as any other DC Universe. So you can see he's massive. He's a good 9.5, nine, 9 inches tall, which is how Kilowog should be. He should be pretty big compared to his Lantern counterparts. Um, so going over the articulation on Kilowog here, Oh, um, sorry about that. Uh, his head goes really far up, actually to the point of giving him a good flying pose, and down. Um, it's on a hinge, hinged ball joint, so if you want, you can raise his head up as such, or you can keep it down, which is how I prefer it. Um, head, eh, 
kind of go side to side, but if anything, it just kind of rotates up like that. So you can't really have them looking to the side, but that's not really a big deal. Um, arms go in and out, rotate 360 degrees, but kind of get hindered by his um, huge body. Bend at the elbow at one point. Um, so, but you're only really getting like a 45 degree angle on that. Not the best bend. Kind of disappointed that they didn't give him a cut joint right here. That could have been easily done, but it's not a big deal. Uh, bigger, fi bigger figures like this usually don't have this much articulation. Uh, rotation on the uh, wrist, 360 at the <clears throat> waist, goes in and out. On the leg, kind of forward and forward, not really back. Only goes back about that far. Bends at the knee, um, not very far, but bends at the knee, rotates at the knee, and pivots forward and back at the foot. So, not bad, not bad articulation. There's a lot of points, but they they often get hindered by um, the figure. And I'm sorry if that was completely cut off from the camera. I'm not really watching the screen. It's hard to record on a laptop. But uh, overall, um, I'm not. It's. It, I know it kind of seems on this review. I'm complaining about the figure, but I'm not. This is a spectacular figure. Um, absolutely love it. Love it. Um, really, really awesome. What else can I say? I mean, it's Kilowog. He's big. He's uh, got really awesome detail. All around, great paint apps, great articulation, just a really good Kilowog figure. Um, or And just a good figure in general. If you're a Green Lantern fan or just a collector, I definitely think um, if you're going to pick up any of the movie masters, pick this one up because he's definitely worth it. Um, right now, you can get this guy off eBay for about 50 bucks. Um, not a bad price, judging that he was 25 um, at the con and I think 30 on Maddie when he was released on Maddie Collector. So, def not, definitely not a bad price for Kilowog here. Um, with that being said, uh, stay tuned for more reviews, and this is Eddie, signing out.